Baby dolls, it's been a wild bull market so far. I'm enjoying some Nutella and strawberries spread on crumpets. The Pulse Chain model with Richard Hart, it is, it's very unfortunate, friends, because Richard Hart did the VC model with an advantage for the people. He let anybody participate, and there were basically coins given to the origin address, but they didn't dump. It was given out to the people. Now, the sad part is even though it was given out to the people, the price got crushed. We're still suffering three years later in that part. Pulse chain, Pulse X, and Hex 2, all of it, down, 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 everything. It is very unfortunate because he really, he made it by the people, for the people. There were no insider allocations whatsoever. And it just sucks because the VCs right now, they've given themselves all the coins and they are intending to dump. And Richard Hart gave the origin address all the coins, which doesn't dump. And we still we still crashed in price. We still got crushed in price. Basically, Vincent, what it means is, right, you can't... Just because you do something fair doesn't mean it's a good product. Also, there are always prices too low, prices too high. Now, friends, when I say doesn't mean it's a good product, just don't get inflamed by that. It, there's a prices too low and there's prices too high. So the market said for a $10 billion market cap price of Pulse, Pulse X, EHEX, PHEX, and Inc., too high. Your product does not do that. That's why the world's biggest airdrop was meant to fill that gap. It didn't. The world's biggest airdrop was meant to get the vampire liquidity and get everyone in. It didn't do that. So now everybody's doing grassroots, popping up all the altcoins out here, all the ecosystems flourishing within Pulse Chain out here. So everyone's doing their best. But that's pretty much it. If we got success of world's biggest airdrop and the liquidity was moving in and there was a vampire, you could make the case that we would be where Soilana's size is today and probably on our way for much, much higher. So we'd be like 30x higher, actually more, more like 40x higher because we're so low now. Yeah, we'd be like 30 to 40x higher in price. And then we might even be like, wow, we might hit like another 10x in the bull market or a 5x. So that would be about a two to 300x return from today. That's probably if it was all successful and there was product market fit. However, the market changed. Once again, every cycle, every cycle, man, Main characters, friends, they get really, really good at one cycle prediction, but the, the slightest thing changes in the market sentiment, and then they're not as useful in the next one. Now, of course, Richard Hart is still a visionary, still knows all these things, but being a 10,000x winner, visionary type of like cycle predictor next, that's very, very hard to repeat. I mean, it's super rare that you're a human who can do it in the first place. You've already caught lightning in a bottle with your foot. All right, now you want to do it twice, that's where it gets difficult. Let me know what you think.